Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. So today's video, we're going to be doing this craft with tea sketch. I want to say this was sketch number four. Um, I had fun at the beginning. I want to say it was the beginning of the year. I actually was playing around and trying to create my own um, sketches. And so when I was doing the Christmas series, I knew I had to pick one of them to use. So we're going to jump on in. And on this one, I kind of... I knew what I wanted to do, but I wanted to definitely keep it simple because sometimes people don't like all the pattern papers and you kind of just want to um, have a nice, simple, yet, you know, nice looking card. So on this, I've cut my square to be three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then my mat piece is three and three eighths by three and three eighths. And we're just going to uh, go ahead and line those up together. So that way we have a nice little border. And I'm just uh, straightening my edges. Anything that's a little fuzzy, I wanted to get it nice and cleaned up. And then I'm going to use some um, foam to get some dimension on it. And we're just going to put on the ends and then whatever's left I always put in the center. And then we're going to attach this. I'm just trying to straighten my um, crease there, make sure it's nice and uh, flat. And we're going to start building up the card. And I always use my scissors to take my backing off of my foam tape. Um, you can use your pickup, um, stick it tool, uh, what, anything with a sharp end to create it. And then I'm going to evenly space up towards the top my image. And then to go across the middle, um, the gold piece is at the 0.5, which is a half. And I made it um, four and a quarter long because I want it to go from one end of the card to the other end. Okay, so I had to make it the width of the actual card. The black um, cardstock, which is uh, what I'm putting the foam tape to, this is basically my mat piece. So I'm making it so that it's an eighth of an inch on the top and the bottom of my strip. So I'm making it five and five eighths, five and five eighths, five eighths inch by four and a quarter, if that makes sense. I know I said a lot of numbers right there, but I wanted to make sure that I had just a little bit of a border on the top and the bottom of the glitter card stock. Now, you can also change this up. If you don't want that much glitter, um, if you just want a little accent, then you can make it a quarter of an inch and just make the matte piece a uh, three-eighths inch. So that way there's an eighth of an inch on each side. However you, you know, want to space it, that's fine. If you want it thinner, go smaller. If you want a bigger piece um, and want to make the band a little bit wider, you can do that too. Now the sentiment... I got from my um, pre-cut out ones um, before I started the series um, I had gotten the tailor made the tailored expression excuse me um, stamp set with the matching die where you can like basically stamp out a whole bunch of sayings cut it out with the die and have them um, ready to go so that's what I did with my Christmas sentiments I did it on black white um, craft and I did um, some with gold embossing um, I actually had done some prior where I used the white embossing so this one is just seasons greetings and it's in the gold embossing I want to say I used um, my nouveau gold and then I was able to get that fixed and all I'm doing there is trying to pick up and adjust my um, stripe my uh, horizontal stripe just to make sure it's definitely even all the way around and I could have dropped it um, dropped it down a little bit more the best part about sketches is that you can use it basically as a dropping off point we see the shape what we're trying to create 
and how you readjust it, it what is what makes it your own. So I put three dots at the top of the trees and then that was using the Nouveau drops and there you have it. So you can see on the one side what it looks like up close and then you can see on the other one when I try and um, spread it out a little bit so there's a little bit of a more even border around our center image. Um, you can do it either way. It, that's the beauty of this. Uh, do what makes you happy okay so my christmas wish for you guys is that you have a fantastic day spending it with family friends or if you decide to spend the day alone that you just have a wonderfully blessed day and since i plan on after today's video taking a short break before the holidays or after i guess the first i want you guys to have a great time be safe on new year's eve and I will see you guys in 2020. Have a great day. And thanks again for joining me on this great little sketch series. Thank you guys. Merry Christmas.